Who'da thunk? Get through the super scary maze just fine, but who get a whiff of something nasty and we're just like, God, I can't handle this game anymore. Hands off, yo. Spent the next 45 minutes or so checking every corner, but we couldn't find anything that we could turn into meth. Did you notice that all these knives and stuff are fake? They're glued to the table. So those jars are the only real things. Very important for game studies of all kinds to take an object inventory of the things that you can and cannot interact with as they inform the, uh, they are the objects within the game. And those are what tell you about how the game works in its entirety. Everything, uh, especially as object-oriented programming goes, turns everything into being object-based. And so you can take an object inventory of the, your surroundings within a game space and understand what you are supposed to do with the game. So, those jars are the only real things. Very important. Good work, Shido. Proud of you, kid. Yep, and that makes them suspicious. We can interact with them. In any point-and-click kind of atmosphere, whether it's Monkey Island or whether it's Amnesia, what you interact with is what'll, what, what'll show up first, and you want to try to interact with everything. It's kind of cool that they glued stuff down where, like, you cannot interact with this. This is not the focus of the puzzle. So, jars. We found nine jars, but uh, now we've got eight. So what the blazes are we supposed to do with them? I hope that one we broke wasn't one we needed because, uh, it'd be a little awkward. The people in the back are like, oh, crap. Why would they make the glasses, like, breakable if we needed it? Which one's got a label on it? Nitric acid, saline solution, methanol. I uh, don't get it. What was that hint again? Blah, 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 death. Crawl along the earth and look to the heavens, although I'll be damned if I know what it means. We all set to thinking about the hint, and silence fell over the room. After a few minutes, I noticed that Mai, who seemed to have taken a liking to Mitarashi, was looking kind of puzzled. She's just a kid. All this stuff is probably really confusing. But as I kept watching, I realized she was also being pretty fidgety. Let's not go with the joke answer. Is there something you want to tell us? Um, yeah. She nodded nervously. There's something on the table. What? Where? Underneath, it's it's over here. She pointed to the far side of the surgery table. Wakasa walked over and crouched down to take a look. She's right, there's something here. You noticed that when you were hiding over there earlier. Good job, Mai. Haha, <laughs> like when she's happy. Yee! Patted her on the head and she giggled. Happy Mai's a great Mai. It's a drawing. What looks like a crown and three drops of water. Crown is the heaven, three drops of water is the ground. If it's in on the underside, does that mean there's a low rain king table? Low ranking table. Three raindrops underneath the crown. It could be a, uh, one of those word puzzles. Fine. I obviously don't appreciate quality humor anyway. It appears to be written in blood, which su suggests to me that it has greater meaning than a rebus describing the relative standing of a table. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah. You guys are hopeless. Hopeless. As we continue to discuss the meaning of the drawing, Shirabe began to mumble it to himself. Of course, crawl along the earth and look to the heavens. Other part of the puzzle must be up. Hee! Mai smiled so wide, I thought she was going to hurt herself. Shirabe gave him gave her a crooked grin, apparently in spite of himself. Oh, Shirabe's gotta be beating himself up inside. Alright, smart guy, what the heck is this supposed to mean, then? The images could be read as royal water, and the specified number of drops indicate to me that this is a recipe? It then follows that the ingredients are nitric and hydrochloric acid, after all, royal water is just another name for... Hit me, Shirabe. Aqua Regia! Precisely. What's that? Aqua Regia is an extremely corrosive solution that can dissolve traditionally undissolvable metals, such as gold or platinum. Oh, that's Shirabe. Excuse me. So, we just have to mix them together. Three drops, that's water, so... 
That mean, must mean three parts hydrochloric acid. Then the crown would be one part nitric. Correct. Then let's get to it. We never get it on the first try, though. No way. Anything around here we can mix things up in. We don't have the heaven clue yet, so... Not gonna work, dude. Handed a beaker I'd found on the ground to Shido and nodded. Good idea. You should probably all stand back. We don't know what might happen. We're just mixing chemicals willy-nilly. They're all clearly labeled, so everything must be okay. Carefully measured out the right amounts of each substance and added them to the beaker, which was soon filled with a reddish-orange liquid. <laughs> Alright, now what do we do with this? Bottoms up, bottoms up. Shido and Shirabe looked thoughtful. I guess we're supposed to pour it on that keyless lock. Could you hand it to me? Shido did, and Shirabe walked over to the lock and upended the beaker of aqua regia over it. It's melting! Looks like we were right. It's like magic! <laughs> Alright, so we melted the only way out. Ah, we got it on the first try! Good work, team. Vivisection lab complete. Let's move, people. The clock is ticking. He probably feels so proud of himself. Began to file out of the room with Mai holding onto Mitarashi's hand and following behind him. I hope Shido doesn't get... Uh, I hope Shirabe doesn't get jealous. I'd be messed up. Oh, it's kind of cute. Uh-oh. Text from Uncle KG. Let's rip it out. Let's go. Pulled up my phone and began to read. If you suspect one of them, then you should just ask. If you're going to work together, you need to get everything out in the open. Guess you're right. Took a deep breath and strode up to Shirabe. Can I ask you something? Sure thing, little lady. What's up? Everyone else had left, so we were alone. Uh, last night I saw you talking to someone through the Hogstein statue. He blinked in surprise, but his face quickly twisted into a sour grimace. Fine, you caught me, but what I was doing last night is personal. I'm not telling you squat. <sighs> okay, got it. He started to move toward the exit. Wait! Give it a rest. We have to trust each other. If we're going to cooperate, we have and we have to cooperate if we're going to get through the other attractions. If we don't trust each other, everything's going to fall apart. I want to trust you, but I can't do that if you're going to keep stuff from me like this. Planted my feet, looked at him in the eye. Sharby stared back at me for a long moment, then rolled his eyes, let out an exasperated sigh. I suppose you're right. It doesn't seem fair to shove my daughter into you and then keep playing like all my cards close to the chest. Okay, let it go. Do it. What's up? Hit me, baby. By now, everyone else had made their way back into the room, possibly because they'd gotten tired of waiting for us. What's going on? Well, Shirabe has something to tell us all. What do you have to tell the class, Shirabe? Brought them up to speed quickly, and when I was finished, Shirabe began to speak. I've been following this case for a while. I didn't actually come here to do a story on the park. I was following a lead. I got a call from someone who called themselves M2. They told me I'd learn the truth if I came to the park's opening. I was talking to the pick last night because I was trying to figure out if he was M2. He just blew me off, though. He sighed and scratched his beard. I'm not the traitor. Cross my heart. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I mean, if he was the traitor, why would he let Mai get caught up in all this? Unless she was being used for collateral. You're right. Sorry I suspected you, Shirabe. Nothing to be sorry for, I was the one keeping secrets. Then the pig was lying about there being a traitor. Still... Wouldn't go that far. But I'm happy you're on team everyone else now. We need to get moving, only two hours left until the deadline. We've got one puzzle left. We have the records. It looks about right. Let's put a story together, everyone. This should be the last room. Records, right? There were several wooden desks spaced evenly throughout the room. There's a creepy guy in the window. What's going on, dude? Top of each one was a mountain of documents and old computers. Surrounding the desks were rows of bookshelves. Look at that. On top of one of the desks was a treasure chest about the size of an open hand. Next to it, a pair of clippers. Why clippers? Huh. Looks like it's glued to the desk. That'll be our reward at the end. That's fine. 
Guess we won't be moving it. Well, don't try and force it. Everyone else stepped back as Shido approached the box, slowly opened the lid. This... this is... What the heck? Some sort of weird machine in there. What we got in the chest? Oh. I'm sorry, was the two hour time, the seven hour time load on the whole thing not, like, good enough? Inside was a smaller box with several colorful, colorful wires, wires sprouting out of it. Wires ran to an LCD panel at 1456 as we watched it change to 1455, then 1454, and it just went from there. It was so nice watching it. It seemed so relaxing, kind of predictable, but also a little chaotic. It put me into a trance. Oh no, that's a bomb. It's a bomb. Thanks, Jirabe. Captain Obvious. <laughs> is, this a, is this the bomb that's gonna blow up the whole attraction if we lose? Whoa, whoa, no way. We've still got two hours left. That time room's got 14 minutes. What are you gonna argue with? Farewell, bloodstained hospital. All these sins are yours, so that I might escape this purgatory. He actually... <laughs> He's very self-involved, just like the main character of Amnesia is. I'm enjoying this guy. The voice of the announcer filled the room and then was gone. Also, Silent Hill, when you break that game down. That main character's a little bit self-involved, uh, especially in Silent Hill 2. Since all of the other characters are abstractions of his ego. <sighs> That's right. A little bit self-absorbed. -absor what? In the original game, the main character is a scientist, and he escapes and blows up the hospital to destroy all the zombie research. That's the end of the game. Good ending. So, for our last puzzle, all we have to do is use these clippers to cut the wires. Ta-da! Let's do it! Boop! Probably, but the question is, which wires? Wait, so, if there's just one right wire, we've only got a 1 in 7 chance of getting it. Let's give Midorashi the scissors. That's a great idea, right? Relax, we all need to stay calm, especially now, and think this through. What are the failure conditions? Our heart rates are monitored by the terror gauges. If one of us becomes too agitated, their gauge will reach its limit and that person will be out. And we only have one life left. Thanks, Urabe. If three individuals reach game over status, then, then we have, as a whole, failed this attraction. Two of us have already lost, leaving very little margin of error. <laughs> Alright, uh, if the time on the bomb reaches zero, game over and there's only 13 minutes left. And if we cut the wrong wires, we're also really in trouble. Okay, so what do we do? We keep our heart rates down, we figure out which wire to cut, and we do before time runs out. Exactly! Now let's examine that announcement we just heard. Farewell, bloodstained hospital. All these sins are yours, so that I might escape this purgatory. Not getting a lot out of that. All these sins are yours. Hmm. Don't know. What's purgatory? It's the name of the location in Dante's Divine Comedy, but in this case, it's likely referring to the hospital. The Divine Comedy is an epic poem in three parts, Hell, Purgatory, and Heaven. The writing we saw at the entrance, Abandon All Hope, Ye Who Enter, here, is from the poem as well. Shirabe tapped his middle finger against his forehead as he spoke. In the Divine Comedy, Purgatory is for souls that have committed the sins of pride, envy, wrath, sloth, greed, gluttony, or lust. The seven deadly sins. Ah, the so-called seven... yes, we're over that. Dude, keep up with me. Come on. Okay, what's that's cool and all, but what what sins was that announcement talking about? The guy in the game was doing experiments at the hospital for the military to create zombies and stuff. He loses his memory, but while you explore the hospital, you find his journals and notes and stuff, and it starts to come back. Then the sins he it was talking about, his zombie research, human experimentation. Yes. That was word for word the plot to Amnesia. Good work, team. Proud of you all. <sighs> okay, I doubt we'll get anything more out of that. Let's look around the room. Take in our surroundings. Figure out who that guy in the background is freaking me out. 
We all ran off to different parts of the room and began looking desperately for anything that might give us the hint we needed. Not seen anything. The books and stuff are all fake and the computer won't even turn on. <laughs> Grabbed a drawer expecting it to be fake too and then it opened! Video Game 101. There's a notebook in here, it says research notes. 